If you're looking to alter your t-shirts from a rounded crew neck to a v-neck, this tutorial will show you how in a few easy steps. The first thing you need to do is remove the neckband from the t-shirt neckline using your seam ripper. Be careful to only cut the stitches and not accidentally go through the fabric. For v-necks that won't be too deep, like an alteration two inches or less, you only need to remove the band from the t-shirt front section, shoulder seam to shoulder seam, but I stop about a half inch before reaching the actual shoulder. If you want to do a more extreme V, more than two inches, you'll have to remove the whole neckband and purchase new rib knit to make your own so it'll fit a longer neckline length. With the shirt still right side out, folded in half, I tuck the shirt back out of the way and throw in a few straight pins to hold the fold in place. Use a ruler to mark down from the neckline along the center fold your desired amount. Try to stick between one to two inches and make a mark. Again, if you wanna do more than this, you'll probably have to sew in a whole new neckband. From the mark, draw a line up to the original neckline, blending so the V-neck looks gradual. Then cut both layers together on your line to create the V-neckline shape. Cut the loose neckband in the center and pull on each side to stretch it out a little. We do this to prepare it for fitting on the new neckline. Take one side of the loose band and pin it to one side of the neckline on the right side of the t-shirt, making sure to line up the raw edges. Stitch a seam using a slightly longer stitch length like a 3 for a straight stitch or do a zigzag stitch and attach the band to the neckline. I like to do about a quarter inch for my seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch but stop sewing about one inch away from the center of the V. This next part is the trickiest part. You can see I stopped sewing about an inch away from my point here. You're going to take this raw edge and line it up with this side here. So from the point and go this way. So I'm just gonna take this, flip it over to this side, matching up the raw edges. And you can see this folded edge is on this side. Go ahead and pin this into place. And the part that is tricky is because your t-shirt keeps wanting to bunch up. So you're just gonna have to pin it best you can. Just make sure those raw edges are lined up. Take it to your sewing machine and stitch this into place. I wanna go completely to the corner to the point because you might end up with a little pucker, but you can start a little ways away from that. Do a back stitch, stitch, and then do another back stitch when you get to the end. After you do that, you're gonna going to pull this so you can go ahead and pin it, and then you can finish stitching on this side as well. So I would continue with the seam, Again, you probably don't wanna go completely to the point, you just wanna go a little ways away from that and don't forget to back stitch. Now repeat on the other side, pinning and sewing, but stop one inch before the center of the V. To finish this loose part, you're going to do the exact same thing we did before, it's just on the opposite side. So if we just flip this out of the way, this is the part that we did before. So flip it so we're looking at the inside. You have this side and you have this side now. Take the short end of the loose band and you're going to line it up with this side here. So I'll pin this, matching up the raw edges and the fold now is on this side. And stitch, don't forget to back stitch from here to here. Again, you don't have to go completely to the corner. After you stitch that, come over to this side Pull it so you can pin it, and then you're gonna go ahead and stitch the last part here. Again, you don't have to go all the way to the corner, but don't forget to back stitch. If the t-shirt looks a little puckered or wrinkled, use steam from the iron to help press and shrink the area. If you want the center parts of the band more attached, you can do a hand slip stitch to connect them. And now your standard round neckline has been transformed into a V-shaped one. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.